Hello guys, let's see how to view your Tepo camera on a PC. As you can see, my Tepo camera is working on my cell phone, pretty fine. And I have a small PC here connected to the network. So basically the PC and the camera are connected to the same network, okay? It doesn't matter if you're using a cable or Wi-Fi, just like I have here, I have Wi-Fi connecting to the same router as the camera is connected to, okay? And then I come here to my PC. And as you can see, I'm going to use this Canlytics software. You just go to canlytics.com. And here on the download page, you can download for free. I have here the Canlytics single version 236. So it depends when you're installing yours. You can have a new version here. Just click download and wait for a while. It's, it takes just some seconds and here you have it. Then I just click here and I find this on my download folder double click and starts the installation. The installation is pretty basic. You just need to click here next, next again, install, wait for it to install pretty quick and click here on launch Canalytics, right? Finish, just wait for it to launch. It takes some time to launch. There we go. And here just have a setup guide. You can read if you want to. I would just close here. And as you can see here on the left side, I see the Tepo C100 via OnVIF protocol. And here's the IP address of the camera. So basically the software goes to my network, scans the network and finds the camera, right? You can just hit refresh here and find the camera. So to be able to find the camera here, you need to make sure that you have here your network working fine. So I come here to the network and to the Wi-Fi. The PC is using Wi-Fi right now. So I come here and Wi-Fi and show available networks just to make sure that I have the connection to this network, which is the same one that the camera is connected to. Okay, so just double check that, otherwise it's not gonna work. And something else that you have to do is come here to your app and just zoom in here so you can see this better. There we go. So basically you need to come here to the settings of the camera, go down in here on advanced settings. You need to enable an account. This is a local account for your camera. I'm not talking about your Tepo uh, account that's online. Okay, it's a different account. So enable the account here. There we go. And here on account information, you're going to use a username and a password. In this case, I'm going to use admin12345 as the username and the password. You can use six to 32 characters. Let me use here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Click here, verify. And now I have here my account information, right? Let me just come back here to the main screen. There we go. Just make sure that I have everything working here. And let's just come back to the computer, okay? So here back on the computer, I go and hit refresh and it finds the camera. I double click here, wait for it to load. So I can select here the camera scenario, camera events disable, object counting, zone motion detection. Let me just select the first one here. You can also choose a camera mounting type like tilted camera or overhead camera. I'll select the first one here click finish, and then I need to enter the username and password here, admin12345. And for the password, the one that I choose is 12345678. Okay, if everything's right, it's gonna let you select here this, the profile. I'm going to select this one, it's recommended this one, okay? Or you can select this one as well. Let me just try this one and see if it works good. And sometimes you see this network error. It happened to me before. Then you just need to wait for it to try to connect again. And what I usually do as well, is just come back here to the cell phone and make sure that I have the username and password here, okay? If it happens to you, the network error, just come back here to the advanced settings. Just make sure that you have the username and password here again, advanced settings. There we go, camera account, it's on. Let me just get in here again and the account information. Let me just enter the password one more time here. I have the username already, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
as the password. Hit verify. Okay, I'm not saving here for the iPhone. It's just hit no here and I come back here and network settings as well. Just check here that you have the IP address that's in the same range of your camera. Okay, so I know for sure that 192.168.4. something, in this case 102, is in the same network range of my PC. And just come back here to the main screen. I have my camera working. Oh, back to PC. Oh, to the PC here. I see that's working already, right? So it's working basically. And you can see here the IP address of the camera. It's just right here, which is the same range of the PC. So working pretty fine here. Okay. And now you have the options here that you can click and see everything about your camera. So here is their TSP protocol. That's the URL if you're going to use an, another software to have the streaming of the camera, record the stream, whatever you want to do, VRTSP. There's the one that you can use. And here the resolution, you can change. So it has some limitations here. Uh, you cannot go to 1080p, for example. That's the maximum that you can go, 1280. And here is the name. You can change the name and everything else. And here for the recording event, you have no recording option, permanent recording as well. But if you want to try to use a schedule recording, for example, it's not possible because this feature is not available in the free version. So if you want to record with the scheduling, for example, you need to come here and buy a license. So the free forever, you have unlimited cameras, object detection, unlimited recording, video archive, and four plans, right? See here, they have unlimited cameras. So you can put more cameras here, but you cannot record with a schedule record. You can just record in a different way here, permanently recording, right? So premier version 129, okay? It's a permanent license. It's not per year. It's valid for one PC, but if you want to buy this, you can, right? And also here, if you want to record events, also you need to buy the license. But basically, it works fine if you just want to record a different way. Events, well, here, zone calibration, detection, everything is under a license, right? Hit map under a license as well, and track map under a license, right? But if you want to just reuse the basic parts of the software, it works pretty fine, right? So now you have your Tapu C100 working here. It also works for different cameras like uh, Tapu 200, Tapu, Tapu 111, and other cameras like this, right? So there you go, guys. Now you have your Tapu camera working on a PC. And here I have more videos about the Tapu camera. I have a complete video here explaining how it works, the features of the camera, and also a video how to connect this Tepo camera to Alexa. So just click on the card and you can watch the other videos here, right? I hope you like this. Please leave your comments. It works for you. It doesn't work for you. You have some problems there. Just let me know. And also subscribe to this channel. Leave your thumbs up and your comments. And I see you in the next one.